Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is Matt Daniels and if you are here in my channel for the first time, please make sure that you do subscribe so that you can get notified whenever I post a video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are returning to my channel but have not yet subscribed, please make sure that you do subscribe so that you get notified the next time I post a video. And do not forget to post that notification bell so that you get notified like you have to press the bell for you to get the notification so please subscribe you guys and help me grow with this channel and we are almost at 8,000 subscribers by the end of the week I know by the grace of God we are going to be on a thousand subscribers so today we are going to be talking about a very important topic we are going to be talking about um, the clicks saga we are going to talk about why I personally feel like we sh clicks should not by any means apologize so the first thing that I want us to talk about it's apology that to me apology and apology holds very little value this is what our, our, our leaders do um, clicks you are wrong apologize and then clicks comes and then clicks like we are sorry and then our leaders were like oh it's not enough and then clicks is like we are sincerely sorry and then our leaders are like no we don't want your sorry close down your show you know I feel, I feel like we don't have a proper approach right we don't have a proper approach um to things we don't know what to ask for we don't know how to fix things we know how to complain we're always complaining we're always complaining on twitter but then what do we want to change you know what are our demands like for example now people are wanting clicks to close which is not realistic for clicks to close you know obviously they're going to bribe a couple of people and then this whole thing is going to be over and it's going to lose momentum and people are going to forget about it that is basically what's going to happen you know because people don't know how to make you know how to push for something how to how to how to make certain demands and demand results that's why our country is messed up because we the people of this country don't know how to make proper demands and don't know how to request for results you know we don't know how to make people account you know we know how to complain we complain about everything we complain about situations we complain about food but what do you want to happen after you complain that country now here's clicks right after clicks posted or um, posted a racist picture or posted those racist pictures in their website right what were they request they were requesting for clicks to close down okay at first they were requesting for clicks to send an apology and then secondly they were requesting for clicks to fire the people who are responsible for creating that ad first of all it, just because it's a racist ad does not mean it was created by white people only it could have been created by black people do you know that it could have been created by black people you know that is something that we also have to consider so now when we ask clicks to fire people what clicks we're not holding clicks accountable you know clicks should know should have people who deal with such things who make sure that such things happen so we can't just say that and um, clicks must fire people it will fire people and feel no pain you know it'll fire black people and feel no pain why don't we, we why is our government so quiet why isn't the government saying clicks you are fined two million dollars for charity two million dollars for construction two million dollars into a, a fund for, for 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 women and children something you know that is something that we should request you know we should request that each and every company should know that if ever they are racist or show some racist remarks and there are going to be consequences you know there are going to be um painful consequences you know imagine if a company like clicks loses um five million gets a five million fine you know do you think that what are the chances that they might do that again in the next five years very slim because they got punishment that hit had that hit hard but if we don't punish where it hurt they're gonna keep doing this they're gonna keep you know being racist knowing that nothing is going to happen i mean how many people how many white people have come out racist and people were demanding ah oh, they must be punished but how many people follow up after the whole event to find out if those people have really been punished you know so people whites uh, a lot of whites that are racist you know put a lot of racist remarks out there because they know that nothing is going to happen 
you know they've been doing it for a long time i mean after apartheid they said we are sorry and then covered apartheid with freedom and i'm saying covered apartheid with freedom because there's nothing that really changed on their side right so that's what they did we're sorry if they're sorry then give us back our land that's a real apology an apology you know you can't just say i'm sorry what does your sorry mean to me that is why there was a moment in my life where i started charging my boyfriend for for for, for, for his stories i'm like okay Agent, this this offense is going to come with 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 two thousand rand you cheat five thousand rand because i take him back anyway so i might as well get something out of it because an apology is now meaning this to me you understand i'm sorry what does i'm sorry do you know so we have to make our demands clear when we request that they fix a road and then they come out and they say we're going to fix this road in september on the exact date where they said they're going to fix the road we should be standing by the road requesting to see the changes that they promised you know but we come and then they make promises and they don't fulfill their promises because very they were making those promises just to keep us quiet you know because they know that we're never going to follow up we're never going to follow up on anything i mean okay fine clicks we, we were requesting something unrealistic and and, and unreasonable um as to clicks must close but how many of us love the the the, 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 the three for two clicks um sale i i love it and if they can say tomorrow if clicks can wake up tomorrow and say three for two or say four for two i will be the first one in the door to go and buy like I mean, you know, those kind of things. Maybe they should have requested, um, I don't know, free makeup, free something, free lipstick for women. Something hit because even if they go and vandalize click property, insurance is going to pay and click is not going to lose anything. And eventually they're going to bribe a couple of people and it's going to disappear, right? So we should make uh, demands. Like we demand um, the government to find them. They need to be fined, you know, and we, we need to know where the money is going. We, I feel like South Africa, we are like so relaxed. We don't hold our government accountable, you know. And I feel like we have that power. We have that power to hold our government accountable, but we are not doing it. If we can block a street, we can block a street in town, you know. Taxis can block a street and prevent the whole town from operating. And people can get on the street and put rocks like stones. Like I don't even know how they carry those stones from the mountain and put them on the roads. If people can do that, then we can do anything. The problem is that we, we a couple of people get bribed and it loses mon momentum and changes are never made. So it is up to us, you know. The, the, the problem is that we don't make follow-up. We need to make follow-up of, 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 of things that we demand from the government. You know, we can't just strike for something and then if it doesn't happen, and we're like, yeah, they promise they will, they will deliver, Mara. They, 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 they're not delivering. They are like this. No. They, we promise you're going to deliver on this date, and we want results today. We are here. We're sitting in the road. The same day, same time, same place, and we want results. And if you don't put on the results, we're not opening this road. You know, that's what we need to do. We can't just, you know, ask for things and not follow up on them. And we can't just take promises. You know, when they give us promises, they must give us dates, right? They must give us dates so that we know when are we going to meet on the street to go and, and, and receive what we've been campaigning for. That, my brothers and sisters, is what we should do for cliques. Cliques must be held accountable. Cliques must be held accountable. An apology is not enough. And we need to stop demanding apologies from people that have wronged us as a country. Now, this is deep. You know, you know, that, that is an insult. That, they just spit it on our face and they should be punished. You know, they should be fined. You know, insurance doesn't cover those things. They are going to feel the pain. And without us telling them, without us demanding and without us, us, without us asking them, you will see clicks is going to fire those people who are responsible for that and themselves. You know, we won't need to demand such things. You know, we, we don't have to, 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 to close the shop. No, we don't have to close the shop. You know, we, we have to request, have, have serious and, and, and proper demands of what we want our government to do. You know, and we must demand that the government fight. You, you know, not, not petty things like we want us going to stand, they must close that. No, 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 let's think big. And let's have direction and let us be focused. And when we demand something, let us demand results. Let us demand a, demand a date wherein our, the results must be actually brought forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I want to hear what you think. What are other suggestions that you feel like the government should actually do in order to remedy this situation?
you know because i feel like i'm sorry it's just not enough what do you think the government should do in order to remedy the situation to fix this whole thing people can just go out there and be racist and think that they can get away with it same applies for tribalism people can just always you know you know criticize and and and, and insult other and the cultures and other languages and other um you know ethnic groups and think that they can get away with it and it's just brought on the carpet you know people must know that that is why even even in gender based violence the reason why gender based violence is at a sky high in south africa is because people know that they're not going to get punished people know that there are not going to be any repercussions for their actions so they can do whatever i want they're not going to get punished how many women today are have been raped by people that they have to deal with and face and look in the face every day how many women today have been killed and the killers are still moving around the streets you know f f being free and and nothing has been done to them you know that is a problem in our country and until we fix that you know we are not ready for change and we are not ready um, to move forward as a country you know so the first thing that we need to sort out uh, a country needs to fix is the justice system people must be held accountable people need to account people need to be afraid of doing things because they know that they're going to account people just steal the nation's money you know, they steal the money for the nation, they, they, they do corruption because they know that they're not going to be punished. And I'm telling you, unless we, as the people, as young people, as the youth, you know, are focused and have a sense of direction and start demanding results from the government, nothing will change. An apology is not enough. And we need to adopt a culture as South Africans where we, we, we kill the concept of people doing things and uh, thinking that they're going to apologize and get away with it. So thank you guys for watching. I love you. Bye.